Tina Fey and Amy Poehler returned to host the Golden Globes for a second time and totally killed it in their opening monologue. Welcome to the 71st annual Tina Fey and Amy Poehler's Lee Daniels The Butler Golden Globe Awards. Thank you. A very good evening to everyone here in the room and to all the women and gay men watching at home. Uh, we are so happy to be back. We are hosting the Golden Globes for our second time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Because uh, this is Hollywood, and if something kind of works, they'll just keep doing it until everybody hates it. Who else? Um, Who else is here? Oh, Amy Poehler is nominated for her work on Parks and Recreation. I, uh, I believe Amy is here tonight. Can we get a shot of her? She looks uh, fantastic. She looks amazing. Wow, radiant. It is hard to believe she's a 42-year-old mother of two. It's true. Wow. Although I hear him is a little difficult to work with. Oh, yeah, she's a straight-up bitch. One of my favorite films this year is the movie Her. Uh, Tina, I was in that movie, too. I was the voice of the computer. No. Amy, that was Scarlett Johansson. Was it? It was. <laughs> if you say so. One of the most nominated films this year is 12 Years a Slave. Years a Slave, and I can honestly say that after seeing that film, I will never look at slavery the same way again. Wait, how were you looking And what a year for television. A lot of nominated shows tonight are on actually on Netflix this year. Netflix, big deal. Netflix. House of Cards, Orange is the New Black. Yes. Enjoy it while it lasts, Netflix, because you're not going to be feeling so smug in a couple of years when Snapchat is up here accepting best drama. Masters of Sex is the degree I got from Boston College. The Blacklist is who is invited to my room tonight. Talking to you, Somali pirates. I am the captain now. I am the captain now. Okay. Time said the ladies crushed it. From their dresses to the jokes, it couldn't have been better. The Hollywood Reporter agreed, loving that the jokes were for the most part friendly and not mean-spirited, as was the norm with past host Ricky Gervais. For Newsy, I'm Bryce Sander.